The Mega Ten franchise has been one of the most interesting JRPG franchises in gaming history. And a large part of that is the use of a wide spectrum of cultures and religions in its world, and most importantly, its demons. The demons of SMT are some of the most interesting versions of these myths and legends. From pretty accurate depictions to rather creative designs, SMT has something fascinating in store for those who are interested in looking at the origins of these beings. So without further ado, welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows. Tiamat is a mid to late game demon that has a pretty unique design. This isn't her original design, actually it's a redesign. But that one also has a bevy of boobies. Regardless of that, both designs emphasize some connection with the sea. Tentacles, seaweed hair, water, it all points to the sea. Tiamat also happens to have an emphasis on ice attacks along with almighty attacks. Ice is obviously due to her connection with the sea, but what about the almighty moves? After all, almighty attacks aren't exactly common, and her attack happens to be called Sea of Chaos. Well, Tiamat is a goddess. She is a creation goddess. Why is she just a common enemy in SMT4? Tiamat is a Babylonian goddess that actually does not have much info on her. We even don't know what she was actually said to look like, although it generally is agreed to be a dragon or sea serpent. What we do know for sure is that she was the goddess of primordial chaos and the sea. Her name, in fact, comes from the Babylonian word for sea, which I'm not going to pronounce because I want to look like a decently successful college student. Her story comes from the Enuma Elish, which details the creation of the world as we know it. Tiamat was a god born from chaotic waters, and there was nothing but those waters. Tiamat is not the only deity of creation as her husband, Apsu, was also born from the chaotic waters, becoming the god of fresh water. The two play hide the tentacle and out comes a new generation of gods. These new gods are loud, annoying, and don't let the pair sleep. Typical children. Naturally, Apsu's first solution as a father is to murder them. He plotted with Mumu, and they both try to convince Tiamat. But Tiamat is shocked by their plan. While Tiamat is bothered by her rowdy children, she still loves them and tries to dissuade her murderous man, but cannot convince him to change his mind. Instead, she goes to tell one of her children, Eya, about Apsu's plan. Eya is the god of wisdom and magic, and comes up with a plan. Eya puts Apsu to sleep and kills him, thus making his sleep a permanent one. From there, Apsu becomes the freshwater of the world. Ea locks up Mumu and celebrates by begging his hot wife Dankina. She gets super pregnant, Baba Boy. out comes Marduk, a god even louder and even stronger than the others. He creates hurricanes and waves, bothering the older gods and Tiamat. Her older children are outraged, accusing Tiamat of not loving them for also not saying anything about their father. Tiamat decides that she has had enough, feeling betrayed by her children who she has saved and agrees with her older children that she will go to war. She gives birth to eleven demons, and launches a ferocious assault on her children. They stand no chance, but she is merciful and spares their lives. Still, the Nyrga gods beg for Marduk to save them. Marduk agrees upon the condition that he shall become the supreme god. He battles with Tiamat and is the victor. He crushes her skull and chops her up into pieces. These pieces become the land and sky even outer space. From her stream of tears flow the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Pretty crazy story, especially her sudden shift in character. She goes from a caring mother to an outrageous general. Why is that? It is thought that Tiamat is a mix of two other gods, Namu, another mother figure, and Inanna, who later becomes Ishtar. We clearly see Tiamat as a tired but good mother at first. But a shift does raise the question of what happened. It is thought that it had to do with the shift from matriarchal religions to patriarchal religions at the time, with Marduk being an image of this. In SMT4, Tiamat can evolve into Eam, a strange man with two sticks that looks to have a phallic jellyfish encasing him. What is it with Kaneko and Dix? 
Eam is the Canaanite god of the Wrathful Sea, who also happened to have a similar fight as Tiamat's against the god Baal. These similarities probably have led to the evolution. There is one difference in the sense that there did seem to be some cult worship for Eam, but for the most part it looks like Tiamat could have some inspiration from Eam. Tiamat seems to be more of a tragic deity than anything, so I hope the next time you use his mommy as a fighter, not fusion fodder. <laughs>